Hi guys, Lee here. I'm just going to give you a quick explanation of guide notes in Music, what they're for and how you can use them. Now you'll notice when you start your first score that these grey notes seem to kind of follow your mouse everywhere they go. Now these are called guide notes or guides. They're not actual notes that will play back or appear in your score. They're just a very fast way of um, creating notes in Music. So Basically, when you click on a guide note, a note will be created where that note was, that guide note was. So, for example, if I move my mouse to just one about here, the guide note will follow me up and down. I just click, and a note gets created. Now, they're a very, very fast way of just quickly adding notes to your score. When you want to put a note in beside a rest, you'll notice that the guide goes slightly to the side of the rest. That's in case you actually want to select the rest itself. So if you want to put a note over a rest, you just go slightly to its right hand side. You'll also notice that the guides don't follow your cursor a very high above the stave or even below the stave. Um, if you want your notes to do so, the first note you add that goes below the stave, just drag it down and the guides from then on will follow you down. And the same goes with above. You want to put notes above, you drag your first note, and the guides from then on will go quite high above. Now, if you want to add um, more complex notes than this, of course, we've only got eighth notes in a 4x4 four four bar, so if you just hover your mouse, actually I'll just scroll to the side here, if you just hover your mouse over where you're going to want to add, say, 16th notes, you press the plus key or the equals key, which is often the same key depending on your keyboard, you notice that the guides add up to 16ths and I press it again I can get 30 second notes. Now if I press the minus key or the dash key I get fewer notes. And this also applies to triplets and things. So if I just add a note here and I want to make it an eighth note triplet, just, just go from the drop down here and just select an eighth note triplet. Now the guides here are eighth notes for that triplet but I can also add say 16ths if I really want to, or 30 seconds. Now you don't always want guides following you around. Um, sometimes they can get a little bit annoying if you're just trying to edit rather than um, write music. So you have two options. The first one is on the right hand side here. It says guides follow cursor vertically. Now if you click that, the guides are going to follow you across but they're not going to follow you up and down. And your second option is you can hide the guides completely. Now there are two ways of doing this. The first one is you just hold shift, and while you hold shift, they're gone. When you release shift, they pop back again. The second way is you simply click this button here that says show guides when you hover over it, and they're gone. Click them back and they'll appear again. And that's it. Cheers.